Hi there! Welcome back to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. Today we'll be talking about how to sell your backyard chicken eggs. But let's be honest, it's unlikely you will become a millionaire when you sell backyard chicken eggs. However, you should be able to generate a small income that can at least cover food costs. This video is going to be your basic primer on how to sell chicken eggs, whether you have a small amount every week or if you have a more significant amount for a farmer's market. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our website at thehappychickencoop.com for more detailed information. With that, let's get started. If you play your cards right, you can definitely make a profit from poultry eggs, whether you sell them as food or as hatching eggs. It requires the right marketing plan, plus a couple more preparations. Firstly and most importantly, your eggs must be clean. Poop and dirt on eggshells are not acceptable to the general public or the USDA, although your Aunt Maud may turn a blind eye and declare it's natural. Friends and neighbors will probably turn a blind eye to those slightly misshapen eggs too, knowing they are fresh and healthy. Some folks won't and will dismiss these oddities as not for consumption. As far as I can tell, there is no law against selling visually unappealing eggs if your customer doesn't mind. Depending on where you live, you may or may not have to clean your eggs before the sale, also to mitigate the possibility of salmonella in the eggs. In the UK, eggs do not have to be cleaned unless dirty and can be sold unrefrigerated. They also vaccinate hens against salmonella. While in the US, eggs have to be cleaned before the sale and refrigerated. The USDA prefers to rely on clean eggs and careful handling to reduce the chance of contamination. The UK started vaccinating chickens in 1997 and saw the cases of human salmonella drop a whopping 96% over succeeding years. The FDA has been considering this idea for several years but believes the data is inconclusive. The easiest way to keep the eggs clean is to keep the nesting boxes clean. Check them every morning, replace nesting materials as needed, and remove dirt and poop balls. Collect eggs frequently to prevent soiling and damage. If you have a couple of hens that like to sleep in the nest boxes at night, it's time for them to graduate to the roosts. Shut off the boxes at night if needs be and park them on the perch. According to the USDA Farm to Table website, it's not necessary or recommended for consumers to wash eggs and may increase the risk of contamination because the wash water can be sucked into the egg through the pores in the shell. When the chicken lays the egg, a protective coating is put on the outside by the hen. Government regulations require that USDA-graded eggs be carefully washed and sanitized using only compounds meeting FDA regulations for processing foods. Depending on your local laws, you may prefer not to wash the eggs you will be selling. Some chicken farmers have begun advertising their eggs as dirty eggs to educate consumers who understand the benefits of keeping the bloom intact. Some consumers prefer to wash their eggs because they can do it before eating or having left the protective bloom intact and pass it on based on their preferred cleaning method. With that being said, you probably don't want to sell extremely dirty or poopy eggs to your customers. Those should be washed and kept separately or discarded. The egg industry has defined what is acceptable to the public in the size and shape of eggs, and many consumers believe that all eggs are precisely the same. Anything different is frowned upon and considered inferior. We know differently though. Industry eggs are graded, and for the most part, only grade AA eggs make it to the supermarket for general consumption. Grade A is considered acceptable but of lower quality. Grade B are eggs that may have stains, irregular shape, or shell quality. These are sent to foodstuff manufacturers. B eggs are not sold to the general public because they don't measure up to the industry standard. The size and weight of eggs are generally divided into six categories. There's peewee, or the smallest size, which is for 1.25 ounce. Small, that's 1.5 ounce. Medium, that's 1.75 ounce. Large, 2 ounce. Extra large, 2.25 ounces. And jumbo, that's 2.5 ounce. You do not have to grade or size your eggs unless you intend to sell them commercially. Farm gate sales are exempt from grading. Also, you do not have to fill the carton with eggs of the same size. For instance, you can vary the size with too large, too medium, and too small. That's fine. Speaking of egg cartons, you cannot use brand name egg cartons since you are not selling the brand egg. However, you can purchase new egg cartons inexpensively from your local farm or garden store. I will reuse clean cartons, not broken or damaged and not soiled, erring on the side of caution. If you plan on making this a regular occurrence, you might consider putting a label on the carton with your name, address, and phone number. 
This way, people remember where they bought those delicious eggs. Also, don't forget to put a best before date on the carton so folks know the eggs are fresh. Now, where can you sell those farm fresh eggs you pick every morning? Of course, you need to know who your potential customers are. If you have a small number of eggs to sell weekly, the customer base may be friends and family. If you have a neighbor who's a bit iffy about having hens next door, bribery usually works. So donate them some eggs once every couple of weeks. They may decide that the eggs and hens aren't so rotten and start buying from you. But if you have more eggs to sell, you will need to start looking further afield. Check around your area to see where you may be able to sell. Campgrounds, local farm stores, and farmers markets are good places to start your sales pitch. If you sell beyond the farm gate, you will generally need a license. However, if the campground owner comes to you, you will not need a permit. In my experience though, the best advertising is of course, word of mouth. If your eggs are tasty, reasonably priced, and local, you'll probably have more customers than eggs, especially in the winter months. Another idea to consider is setting up a roadside stand to sell your eggs. Before you start, think about other roadside stands you have seen. Would you have bought from them? Why did you buy from them? And more importantly, why didn't you buy from them? A tatty makeshift stand that's held together with a couple of nails and duct tape will not attract customers. People will notice you can't be bothered with a good appearance, so what else can't you be concerned with? You can either build your stand or use a small garden shed for the task. Unless you have many other things for sale, a small homemade frame will probably be sufficient. Make it simple and fit your needs. A freshly painted frame, a good presentation of your products, and even some whimsical decorations all help to attract folks. You need to put some time and effort into production, even if it's just a sign saying eggs for sale. If you're in a position to have folks come to the door and ask for eggs, you need to ensure you're available at all reasonable hours. If you want customers to come to your door, make sure you say something like knock on the back door. It gives the idea that they are welcome and gives direction. No one wants to be poking around looking for someone to buy the eggs from. A poster showing your hands and the pasture will let people know your hands are free rangers. A couple of close-ups of your girls will likely bring a smile to their faces and they will remember you for the future. Ensure your products and prizes are displayed so there is no room for confusion. Always check your spelling too. If you rely on people's honesty and use an honesty box, do it cautiously. Ensure your money box cannot be broken into and bolt into the stand. Sadly, some people can and will take your product and your cash, so be wary of those. If you raise bantams, quail, or ducks, there are specialty markets for you. Bakers love duck eggs. If you have never baked with duck eggs, I highly recommend it. You will have to do your homework to find these places, but it can be well worth it in the long run. If you can get a small local restaurant or bakery to buy all your eggs, that is a bonus and a good start for your small business. Now, if there are farmer's markets nearby that you want to sell your eggs from, there are a couple of legalities you have to learn first. In a nutshell, small private sales from your home are typically exempt from licensing, but selling eggs to the public needs more paperwork. You need to be licensed if you wish to sell at farm markets, CSAs, or local stores. It would help if your facilities were inspected by the USDA yearly. Each state in the US is different, and the UK and Canada also have licensing systems in place, which you will need to comply with if you sell there. It can be frustrating to plow through the rules and regulations, but it is well worth the effort to avoid problems. If you plan to become a business, you will also need business licenses. These are usually available from the municipal building. The cost varies from state to state but is generally quite reasonable. For example, you will only need a business license in New York State if you have over a thousand dozen eggs to sell per year. You can check out your local state requirements on the National Egg Regulatory Officials website linked below. In general, the rules are not too onerous for the backyard seller. It only gets complicated once you decide you want to make it a business. Many consumers these days are aware of the terrible conditions in which hens are kept in the commercial world and will buy local free-range eggs whenever possible. Assuming you've already decided how and where to sell your eggs, the next question is how much should you sell them for? Pricing your eggs to sell can be tricky. Suppose you consider all your expenses like the feed, housing, water, electricity, etc. In that case, the eggs may be too expensive for many folks, especially when they can buy a dozen much cheaper at the supermarket. I generally sell mine to cover the cost of their feed. Pricing will also have to consider the local availability of your product. Folks may pay more for freshly laid eggs if you live in town. In some rural areas where almost everyone has chickens, you may have to sell them cheaper. Markets fluctuate, so keep your eyes open. If your customers live a short distance away from you, they may appreciate free delivery of their eggs, personalizing the service. Selling backyard chicken eggs can be a great way to cover the cost of your feed. And you can do that from farmers markets to roadside stands. 
An average 50-pound feed bag costs $15 where I live and will last 30 hens for around two weeks. If you can sell your eggs at $3 a dozen, you'll need three dozen eggs per week to cover the cost of the feed. Every penny helps, and if you stash the cash in a separate container, you will be pleasantly surprised at how quickly it adds up. Hopefully, this guide on how to sell eggs inspires you to start your side business or help your kids learn how to start a business. Do your research, enjoy making your farm stand, and enjoy the pocket money generated by your ladies. Who knows, you might make enough to buy some more chickens. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give it a like and show it to your friends. You can also help us make more content by subscribing to this channel and checking out our website at the happychickencoop.com. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.